Wow. Right shoulder. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm falling back the line. Yeah. 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 I would have made, I would have made a pun if we were supposed to go to Charlie, but uh, no, we're right. going um, to go to Charlie. Oh, okay. Corporal Swiss map, we're going for uh, A or B, yes. depending yeah. on which point is the closest by. If it's, uh, Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. All right, you can see here we got the Jeff Davis guys. They love making Yankee Jam. There's also Tim and the 8th Alabama. So we've got the... Boy, I tell you, some of the all-stars of artillery out here this weekend. 51st New York out here with the 52nd New York. The the Jefferson Davis artillery under Bondurant. Got the 51st New York over here. Olsi and Jesse and the boys. Noah, I see ya. You can see the guys starting to move out. Man, the stream still looks like shit. I don't know how to get that compression better. Sergeant Chair out in the vanguard. As they approach the Miller farm, you can see off in the distance, the Union already making a break for it through the woods. Well, Confederates are going straight for B as well as A. Confederate artillery also going off. And you can see these guys are literally lined up across from each other. This this map is now made for an artillery duel, and we've been looking forward to one of those for a while. We need to get that organized. CSA streaming across the field. You guessed it. Captain Fritz in the front. They've had uh, some promotions in the 8th Florida, and now Hogs carrying major tags. As you see, the Union streaming across the field. And they are just right out here in the open. This is interesting. Look at this. They are coming right after the Confederates here. That's got First Virginia written all over it, but I can't see who it is from this distance. Ooh, massive volley. And the Union really pouring it in there. They're trying to get this flag up on the pole. Here they go. They've captured point A. And they're still streaming across the field. You can see them off in the distance going across the epicenter. But they've got Union here. Boy, this is similar to what happened that day. There are just units all over the place here. And you hear Hogg saying it. Brace right. Here they come. But they've got two targets. It's like a bear. He can't decide who to attack. Looks like they chose to attack the 8th Alabama. But they've got three companies here pouring it into them. 20th Georgia, large and in charge this weekend. And there's a bunch of blue bellies running in the other direction. But you can see it already. Look at the screen, guys. That blue line, you can see it starting to fade away. That means the Union is losing morale right here. And it's all because of those points of contention that the Confederates have taken. And now they're just going to set on them and make the Yankees come get it. Still working the long-range musket fire, trying to stay away from those Confederate guns. They know how accurate they are. Man, that is beautiful. Look at that shot. All right, since we're just standing here, we got the controls. Let's do it. Oh, there it is. Mmm. Yank it jam. They know they've been targeted by the big guns. They're going to have to get out of this area. They're all going to be turned into Yankee Jam. And they're not moving away. They're moving forward. I like this look on the Union today. See the 51st coming up the right. Oh. Union coming across the field, going toward the point of contention. They cannot afford to lose all this morale. Oh, they're going for the flag. We got an American hero right here. Private Puma going and getting that flag. Venom going with him. Well done, Private. So the Union getting their shit together. They're starting to come up here and coagulate, if you will. Lieutenant Muffin, 14th Louisiana, back. It's been a while. I love to see these guys. have been back for a few weeks now. Don't think they wanted to stay exposed like that. Oh my God! James. Wow. Mmm. Whoa. That they said they upgraded some of the look of the explosions, and my God, they were not kidding. That was impressive. Wow.
<laughs> Lucky we got a bit of that. And the Union, they saw it too. And you can see the Union coming out. IVB not wanting to stay in one place. You can see the, the Confederates barely losing morale, but the Union going down already to engage. Yeah. They're working it. Fourth PA coming right up into the teeth of the Confederate defense here. Exposed to the Confederate artillery. Oh my God! Look at that. Lieutenant Parker trying to keep his boys together with mini balls coming in all directions. Hey, I'm proud of the 20th Georgia bringing a lot of men this weekend. Well done, boys. Oh, we got more Confederates streaming this way. Sword in hand. That's going to be Captain Fritz, 8th Florida. Over the fence. Right wheel, march. Right wheel. Hold. All the right. the road, boys. Right. 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 Double ranks, gentlemen. Get ready. There's going to be Yankees coming Get out ready. on the road ahead of us. Those two guys work better Good together than anybody I've ever seen. Right Let's wait for them to get in the open. Fire. You, oh. Third Alabama. Come on, the so the Confederates still in command here, and that blue line is just bleeding away. You can't just kind of set and camp like you used to. The IVB trying to get an angle, coming through Miller's Cornfield. Uh-oh, Union has captured point of contention C now. Made it up. Those crazy Delawares, they saw him coming. 18th North Carolina, here we go. I bet 56 Virginia is around here somewhere. Playing in the woods today. All right, the Union trying to make it happen. You know, they fight on these fields all the time. They know the, the angles from the skirmish maps, but people will flank you in positions that you're really not thinking about. You might get lulled into a uh, false sense of security, thinking you know where the boundary markers are for this map and get flanked. On the left, into line. So they got somebody coming behind them, possibly. Oh, yeah, the Union getting tired of those guns already. You can see it. They've attacked the guns. And that was what the that is what the IVB was here to do. I should have stayed with them. Oh, a massacre of the beautiful artillery of the Confederates. And you can see they're trying to get out of there now. I think this, uh, this wider camera angle really makes it look nice, especially for what I'm doing. They're going to have the point of contention behind them. This is a perfect opportunity to take it. All right, Puma, you're going to take that flag and put it on that pole. And once those cannoneers get back to those guns, oh, that, that's exactly what I was talking about. You know they're licking their lips trying to get back. More Union reinforcements. No, this is the 20th Georgia coming in on the flank. Goodbye, 51st New York in this one. They had no chance. Like a phantom from the woods, the 20th Georgia coming in. Alabama, German Legion. And they're going to pour into the 20th. German Corps here. That's second Delaware. Still going. They got their dander up now. Here come the fourth New Jersey. Trying to clean it up in the Union, able to do it. A massive Confederate attack out of the woods, but they have destroyed two Confederate companies here, it looks like, unless they got away where I didn't see them. Yes, it was, so Georgia not getting completely destroyed. Able to fall back and get in position. These guys, they really know how to move these men. Third Alabama, got some Florida here mixed in. And they're going toward the rocks. Not a lot of union here. 83rd. Captain Wolf trying to get his guys out of here before it's too late. As the Confederates pour through. Oh, but look at this. The union stopping and turning around and firing. This is very historically accurate as well. A lot of unsung heroes on those fallback retreats. They would stop, line up, and fire again. Here they come. Counterattack. Maybe too little too late for these Union, though. A brave attack, but a lot of Alabama German Legion here. Kind of seemed to caught them by surprise a little bit. I think the Alabama were surprised they were being attacked as they were in the midst of an attack themselves. Oof. 
You can hear the big guns going off close. Oh my god! Wow! Mmm! That is so devastating, dude. These guys see that and they're, they literally shit their pants. They have to get out of here. And, yeah, artillery was equally devastating in real life. If you got hit by a cannonball like that. Oh my god, see that go right by the camera? They're targeting this position and these guys know it. They've got to get out of here. And the IVB, they've been hit before. Fourth New Jersey still out in the road. So, what happened to the Union artillery? You see a lot of dead bodies back here, so they've been paying the price. See Ulti and his boys aiming over here in the woods. See if we can get some Confederate jelly out of them. Oh, there's a 56 Virginia. We're looking for these boys. They're playing in the woods today. I tend to stay away from the woods if I can help it, just because of the frame. They're charging somebody. Let's go with them. Fifty first New York. And you see now the Union is taking losses. Confederate still battle ready. 1920 left in the match. All right, 20th Georgia Jumbo coming up. They smell blood in the water. They're only battle ready. And the Union already breaking with 18 and a half minutes left in the match. Oh my God, you see that artillery piece back there? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy. Oh, we still got movement here 20th georgia getting up close and personal they want that point of contention they got union in the rocks look how fluid look how fluid the motion is of the men getting into position and the union they've got to get out of here you guys tore them up good job and from here they can hit those union guns and the Union kind of stretched out in the woods a little bit. Maybe 56th and 18th have got their attention. This is going to leave the point of contention wide open. And you know they know that. And here it is, Captain Fritz. They're going for it right here. They want to put the nail in the coffin. And here they go. As the Confederates did many times that day in 1862, they enter the corn. Oh, yeah, look at that. More movement up the hill toward the artillery. That's got to be 20th Georgia out there. Oh, that's, uh... Like on the Floridians. What the Independent fire. They fire. just saw him. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. No reason to fall back now, boys. This is going to be the end of the match. 8th Florida coming for the jugular. Here we go. Once again, 8th Florida in the most important spot of the field at the most important time. What will the Union do? They are so far away from here. They're trying to take their guns back, but you can see, man, it has been brutal over here. Another artillery blast coming in. Wow. Mmm. And they have just been making an absolute mess of this hill, and the Confederates are not done yet. Here comes another company. It's first cab. Preacher and the boys. Oh, Hadn't seen them all day. Here they come. Right after the artillery. One more time. These guys have got to be tired of seeing this. Union doing their best, but while their attention is over here, they are losing the game. Right now, we've got three points of contention in the hands of the Confederates, and that blue is just bleeding all the way away here. So no more blue bar. Oh no, they neutralized B, they did it. Those crazy Yankees, they got in there and they get it, got it done here at point of contention B. That's not easy. You can see they're paying a price for it. A lot of dead men here. Oh, it was the German Corps. All they had to do was take that thing down. But might not have been worth it. Last stand. And now the Union. It's all or nothing. 13 minutes left to go, and the Confederates have played just another excellent match. You can see Tim's guys here on the right-hand side of the battery. And the Jefferson Davis guys over here. Man, a lot of Jefferson Davis on. Oh, it's Mormons, too. So it's not just the Jefferson Davis guys. I totally missed the Mormons. So they're, they're 8th Florida's artillery. So we've got some of the best gunners in the game, like I said before. And they've been absolutely flipping cannons. And I think that's what they're up to now. Let's see if they're going to be successful here in the closing moments of the match. 
I tell you, there aren't many guns left here to aim for. Taking a leisurely stroll to the Union position. I surrender, Danny. He said he surrendered. It's Jesse. Jesse, my man, what you doing here? Hey, Tommy, how you doing? Everyone's dead. I got you for man. No! Oh my god! Friendly fire! Oh no! And Jesse gets taken out by Jeb Stewart. He tried to sneak away before anybody saw it. I saw it, you murderer. Left face. Oh, we got yeah, blood on back the on the fences. Somebody Look at this. Yeah, my face, double forward march along the fence. Let's go. Said it before, I'll say it again. This is okay. one beautiful game. You'll pay for that later, Wilson. With 11 minutes left, there aren't going to be very many Union left to yeah. fight them back. And you got to put a lot of that in credit going to those uh, Confederate gunners, man. Three different uh, regiments with guns. We had the Mormons. Had the Jefferson Davis artillery. Look, flipped another gun. Wow. You can see all their guns that are in the original positions. But they're fighting around the Dunker Church right now. This is going to be the end of it. The last stand of the like Union Army. Oh, oh, and they got yeah. hit on the flank. Out of nowhere, they didn't see him coming. 56 Virginia, 18th North Carolina. There they are. Showing up to put the nail in the Union coffin here. You're the guys in great spirits. Well, Ulti, you can't help it, man. You had three of the best. Oh my God! I live! I live! As we speak. Wow. Mmm. As I was saying, there happened to be three of the best Confederate artillery units in the game today. Oh my god, they hit him point blank. Did you see that poor bastard? Mmm. Wow. Q-tip him to death. Andrew Walsh, that's all he's got left is a big Q-tip. Right, hold your fire, hold your fire. See him shifting to the southeast. Yeah, on him. Is this our southeast. last four guys? Fire. <laughs> Alright, gents. This is now a guerrilla war uh, with me to the northwest. And First Lieutenant Zap, he's going to try to get him out in the woods to hide. They got four minutes left. Alright, that's going to be it. A Confederate victory. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.